Those who tied Van Diathevan with the tailed monkey tied Mani Mikala with the antlers of the deer hanging on the wall near him. Sorcerer! I am your enemy, why are you tying up the princess of Kadampur? Leave me alone! Van Diathevan said. Ravi Dasan looked at him and said, Wait brother, wait! You have interfered in our affairs many times. Each time we have left you alive. Yet you have not stopped following us. He said. Van Diathevan smiled. What, you are laughing? Is a tailless monkey's hug so fun? Ravi Dasan asked. No. I just laughed at what you said. Said Valavarayan. What are you laughing at about what I said? Did I tell you to keep coming? Can't you tell me to keep coming? Can't you tell me you are interfering with my work? Now look. I took Rajakumari of Kadambur and set out on an important errand. You've interfered and tied me to this monkey. Oko. So fair? Consider us interfering with your affairs. But this is the last time that will happen. If you survive today, you will never see us again. Then I must try to live. Sorcerer. Tell me a trick so I can escape alive. Van Diathevan said. Let me tell you. Whatever happens in this hall and the room next to this one, just sit back and watch. Don't do anything nervous. Your life won't be in danger. Why do you admire me so much? Why don't you kill me? Ask that. That's a big fool. But our goddess command. Who is your goddess? Don't you know yet? It's Pandima Devi. It's Nandini Devi the Virapathi of the Pandya Emperor who has come to the house of the great Palyavataraya. Nice heroine. See. You poor boy. If you say anything about our goddess you will lose your life. Beware. Aren't you the one who is slandering the queen of Palvur? You are calling another man's house the goddess of Virapandayan. So what? Didn't Rama's sister Sita stay in Ravana's house for some time? Has Rama gone and fetched Siddha Devi? We have also come to take our goddess Pandima. Whatever she was imprisoned for in the Palyavar palace is going to end today. Aha! Uh -huh. What's the matter? Be patient for a while. You will find out for yourself. If you show your wickedness, not only you, but this girl too will suffer. After saying this, Ravi Dasan tried to go to the opposite wall. Wizard! Say just one more thing and leave. Van Diathevan said. Ravi Dasan looked back and said, Brother. Don't call me magician anymore. He said. Then, what should they call themselves? To be respectfully called Prime Minister. Sir. Which kingdom are you the Prime Minister of? Don't you know? The First Minister of the Pandya Mahasamrajraj. Were you watching the consecration ceremony that took place near the schoolhouse? I was watching. But I thought it was just my paranoia. Is that why you didn't tell anyone about it? I told a couple, they called me crazy. They said I must have had a bad dream. Aha! Uh -huh. Let them think like that. We also left you alive in the hope that no one would believe you if you told it outside. Wizard! Is that the only reason you let me live? What else? Didn't your queen recommend me? So what? I still get his recommendation. Wait till you get it. Sorcerer, your queen sent this Kadampur princess to fetch me in a hurry. That's why we both came together. Father. There is another way to come to the king's room. Shall I come this way? I don't have to tell you about it. I will if the queen asks. Hold on till the queen comes and hears. Sorcerer. Tell me and Sambhavariyar Kumari to be unleashed immediately. Otherwise. What will you do? I'll make this hall shake. As soon as you shout like that, three waves will flow over you at the same time, beware. Van Diathevan looked around once. Yes, the three conspirators were ready with their swords in hand. Brother. You are a very naughty child. I even wanted to take you with us at one time. 
but you have fallen into the affections of that old Mahini. Let it go. Be wise now. If you make a sound you will surely die. After warning Ravi Dasan, he went towards the elephant's face on the opposite wall. He listened to the wall for a while. Then he grabbed the long tusks of the elephant and screwed him. There was a small hole. The light from the lamps that were shining brightly in the inner room, like the silver rays of the circular full moon, came into the hunting hall and brightened it a little. Vandiyathevan looked back to the side. He found out that Princess Monimega had taken the small knife inserted in her waist and cut the bandages that bound her. The small lamp that Manamegala had brought from Itumbang Kari was burning Munico Munico in one corner of the hunting hall. Its light never falls on the hourglass. And since the conspirators were looking after Vandiyathevan, they did not notice the cat Amper Princess Manamekali. Vandiyathevan saw that Manamegala was untied and freed. He immediately closed his mouth and screamed like an owl. At first the three conspirators were a little stunned. Ravi Dasan, who was peeping in through the open hole, also looked back startled. Hey! Your job! Saying that, he rushed towards Van Thyadeva. When he removed his hand from the tusks, the hole disappeared from the wall. Darkness enveloped the hunting hall again. The three conspirators rushed towards Van Diathevan with their swords in hand. One of them was attacked by a deer with twisted long horns, and another was felled by a huge bear and knocked down. On another sprang a crocodile with an open mouth and terrible teeth. A huge bat fell on Ravi Dasan's head. When they remained inactive for a minute due to such sudden attacks, Manamegali approached Van Diathevan and cut his bandages. Van Diathevan picked up the tailless monkey that was still holding him and threw it at the conspirators. The four pushed off the bodies of the dead animals that fell on them and slowly managed to get up. Meanwhile Van Diadeva was carrying something in his hand. He was ready to strike back at those who came to attack him. Just then Nandini Devi's bedroom door opened wide. Light poured into the hunting hall and brightened it. The next moment Nandini Devi also entered the hunting hall. Wizard! What nonsense is this? What are you doing here? She asked and came up. 